Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. I'm Mandy. Today we are making an eggplant side dish in garlic sauce. I'm going to show you an easy way to retain its purple color. Not only does it look prettier, but also it is more nutritious for you. These are Chinese long eggplants. They're much more tender compared to those fat ones. Let's remove the stem first. The purple color on the skin is due to the anthocyanin, which offers lots of health benefits, including antioxidative, antimicrobial, improving visual and neurological health. That's why we want to retain it as much as possible. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add a 2 to 3 tablespoons of white vinegar to create a slight acidy environment because anthocyanins are more stable at a low pH solution. We don't want the eggplant floating on top of the water while cooking, so use a tool to push them down. Why? Eggplant also contains a type of enzyme called polyphenol oxidase. If you let the eggplant float, the part that is above the water is cooking at a lower temperature, which means the enzyme is still active and it will oxidize the anthocyanins. You don't need to remember all these complicated science. The key here is to boil the eggplant with a little bit of vinegar and keep them under the water. It takes about 6 to 8 minutes over high heat to cook them through. Of course, it depends on the thickness of your eggplant. Remove them from the water and let them cool. The color does look faded now, but as it cools down, the purple will be more vivid. To show you a comparison, I boiled some eggplants without vinegar and I didn't push them down under the water. You can see a huge difference. This side was exposed to the air and it came out with an ugly brown color. The other side that contacted the water, you can see a tiny hint of purple, but it is not as purple as the vinegar solution result. This eggplant will still be delicious, but the anthocyanin is mostly destroyed. While waiting for the eggplant to cool, we can make the garlic sauce. 10 cloves of garlic. I love this little cordless blender, perfect to process a small amount of ingredients. It chops the garlic in about 10 seconds. Add a drizzle of vegetable oil to a sauce pot along with the chopped garlic. A few Thai bird eye chilies. I roughly diced them. Half tablespoon of chili flake. If you don't eat spicy food, you can skip both Thai bird eye chilies and the chili flake. Stir them over medium heat until the garlic is nice and fragrant. Add 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon of Chinese black vinegar, half tablespoon of fish sauce, and some salt to taste. Turn off the heat, toss in a quarter cup of diced scallion. Mix well. I see the sauce is a little bit dry because the heat was a little too high, so I added a splash of water to mingle everything together. That looks good. Set it aside. Now the eggplant has cooled down. You can see the purple color became more vibrant compared to before. You just tear it into strips. Mix the sauce with the eggplant thoroughly. Now you can enjoy this delicious, full of garlic flavor eggplant salad. It's so tender and savory, I cannot stop eating it. I hope you give this a try soon. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. If you want to see me talk more about cooking with science, leave a comment below and I will make more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!